All right, y'all. So for you guys that got the classic or the FLDs and you want to lower your steering wheel, I'm going to show you how it's done. It's real simple. All you need is a ratchet. And this is a eight millimeter. Maybe I can catch that. So you put that in there like that. Bow. You're going to unloosen this. You're going to unloosen this. There's two screws right here. So once, who the fuck? So once you unloosen these two right here, you pretty much pull this off. Like I said, it's a real simple process. Make sure you don't lose the screws or drop them like I did. So now you're left with two pins in here. So now you're left with two pins. You got this this furthermost one to you, and then you got the one in the middle. So the one that needs to come out is this one right here. So all you need to do is get you a flathead, and you put it down from the bottom, and hit it with a hammer like two or three times, a good couple of wax, and this pin is going to push out. So let's try it. Oh, I'm, excuse me. All right. So we have a small hammer and we have a nice size um, flathead. So we're just going to wedge it in from the bottom like so. And then we're going to hit it like this. Let me get over here. Oh, shit. And voila, it shoots out a little bit. So now once it shoots out, like, oops, now I'll push it back in. That's all it is, it's holding the steering wheel from going all the way down. So I'm back out a little bit so I can show them. So now you can see the steering wheel goes down and that thing will go down. Yeah, and then you can also lock it into to place. So if you're one of them guys that like to ride with the low seats or whatever, you can drop it down like this or you know wherever so if i'm not mistaken i think this was the original resting point so as far as it could go and then now that that bottom pin that front pin is moved i know a lot of people say the back pin but it's technically the front pin that's closest towards you so once you do that now you can drop the steering the steering wheel as low as you want to get it and if i'm not mistaken yep this is as low as it goes right here so if you had a smaller steering wheel on here then you could possibly you know um have a little room under there i don't or at least i don't have my other steering wheel yet all right so now we're just gonna put everything back but we're not gonna put that small pin back so now it's only one pin in there which is the one that's in the middle we're gonna leave this pin out and then we'll pretty much just put the plate back on all something real simple to do yourself you don't have to hire nobody to do it for you whatever y'all get the point like i said y'all seen it already um pulled out already it was not that hard at all i think it only took me originally took me like three wax to get it out and then voila now you put everything back on because that other pin that's in the middle um if your truck uh does a lot of shaking or whatever it'll um possibly come out and i don't know what will happen if it does come out but i don't want to find out either It's it real, real simple. Didn't take a full minute. Maybe it probably took longer for me to gather the tools that I needed. Come on, baby, stop playing. All right, that's it. And then all I needed for the job were that right there. That's all you need to get the job done. And now my steering wheel goes down. So I'm gonna show y'all again. Um, oh shit, what I do? Oh, damn phone. Let's switch the phone. All right, so steering wheel originally rests all the way up here. Now you can pull it down as far as you want it or need it to. Right here, go up another right here. You can go down one right here, another down right here. And obviously 
You can keep going down to as far as you need it to. That's it for you. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys in another one. We out.